Welcome guys, welcome to this channel. In this session, we are going to talk about the different RDS operation. So after creating, what kind of operation going to perform and what kind of operation will be supported and restore of DB version with previous restore point. So let's get start. So basically, once your RDS is running, you can see the status here. And also you can change the configuration here you can stop delete and also you can modify instance so here in the modify status here you can change or we can say modify the whole things like if you want to change DB engine version you can change you can also change DB instance also you can change availability zone storage purpose you can change and you can increase your allocation size with default limit which based on your availability and requirement right you can change the password and instant identifier in security group you can change and assign a new group public accessibility here you can change like from no to yes or yes to no it's based on your requirement right in database option you can see port here you can change the port number in backup section you can change the backup configuration and details monitoring so in monitoring right now it's disabled you can also enable your monitoring you can change the configuration of maintenance also so basically even your instance is running you can modify your instance configuration so this all basically operation things now let's try to understand how to restore in previous state okay so let's go to instance and here if you select this and see here you can see restore to point in time so you can restore in specific time so once i click here configuration will be show here so this is my last time of restoration you can also choose the custom restore time here from specification based on your specific requirement time basically when you do the restore in time it will create the entirely new database fully from the scratch right you can also select the configuration from this new snapshot which creating from your restore point so here you can see you want to change the license you want to do the ability so space identifier name so you can do these things configuration also so let's create new one here and i am just creating the port this default time and given the name is my rds1 with all default configuration i creating so let's click on launch db instance so you can see here one new rds is create here so basically it is copy of your RDS on that particular time so you can use that particular times copy based on your recommendation because many times it's required for specific use cases like in QA like in dev also sometimes for user specific data query mainly requirement based on the different use cases okay guys so in today's session we show about rds operation and how we can restore the rds in specific time so that's it for today i hope you all guys are enjoying the sessions so subscribe this channel and stay tuned for more aws technical videos thank you and have a nice day